Stars up above me, stars in my eyes Fire below me, starting to rise I'm my own captain, hanging on tight tonight Pointless to try and turn back the time I've never been this old in my life Load up my spaceship, tear through the sky, I might You ready? Bro? Always. That's good, man. That's good. You ready? No. 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 Man, my batting average has been terrible these past couple weeks. Bro, I can you barely got hit a basketball. You got this. All right, all right, all right. Dude, you're awesome. All right. <laughs> Whatever. All right, hey, listen. I got to go class. I'll see you at practice, right? See you, man. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Well? Well, what? Okay, aren't you excited? Oh, you mean excited for the biggest baseball game of my entire <laughs> yeah. life? Yes. Do y'all start when I walk into class? You don't mind if I do. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so, uh, here we are. So I have to say goodbye. <laughs> Okay, it's time for class. Awesome. Hello? I'm inside the Toyota. Hello. Oh, hey. Hello. How are you, buddy? Doing good. Um, I understand you work on veterans' cars uh, for for free. I do, yeah, I do. Um, I do. I've got a Mitsubishi that needs brakes and maybe rotors. Man, I want to help you, brother, but I got five cars ahead of you. You know, I I'm busy. All right, okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. All right, how about this? Come Monday. Early Monday. And when I say early, I mean 3 a.m. Will that work for you? <laughs> yeah. Okay, 3 a.m. Right here. I'll be here. Come quietly. Let's not wake up the neighbors, all right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Sorry. Uh, but we'll do it. We'll get it done. Okay. Well, thank all right. you. Thanks, buddy. that who that was a guy who um... uh, needed a brake job hmm yeah well it's gonna need rotors too <laughs> so honey tell me what did you learn in school today so see it's like a butterfly and it has all these pretty colors and these swirly antenna things and they're so pretty they come from like caterpillars, I think. Yeah, we learned about it in school today and it's so pretty, right? Honey, they, they learned about butterflies today. Tell your dad how a butterfly's born. Um, so basically it starts out as a caterpillar. Then it goes into this nest thingy. It comes out as a beautiful butterfly, like a miracle. A what? A miracle, daddy. There's no such thing as miracles, honey. It's okay. It's okay. Two outs with men on first and second. And number three, Bryson Newman is up to bat.
a headache. Well, I mean, ice your foot, I think, but your head too, is that worse than the foot? Do you want to lean on me? Sweetie, and more water. I think you didn't drink enough water. I probably use more water, Mom. Bryce! Dad! Oh. Check out this truck. Oh my What's goodness, this? this is sick. <laughs> uh, huh. Incredible, isn't it? Can I take it for a drive? Uh, no. What are you encouraging oh. here? You can hug your old man. Come here, fellas. Uh, I'm proud of you, man. Thanks, Dad. Well, I'm going with Dad. Uh, no. Am I taking my, my bag? Yep. I'll, I'll call you later. Yep. Get some food. I'm showing you trucks like that anyway. I don't want crazy. <laughs> oh, it's Stepping a cool on a truck. rock, we're just gonna. No, it's fine. Okay, guys, settle down. All right, let's get back into Catechism 162. Here we are reminded to live and grow and persevere in the faith until the end. We must nourish it with the Word of God and beg the Lord to increase our faith. It must be working through charity, abounding in hope, and rooted in the faith of the church. What it means is that we must stay close to the Word of God and depend on it, the Bible, right? So by working through charity, we can encourage others. And guys, this doesn't just happen in this classroom or when you go to church on Sunday. It happens when we go out in the world and we leave the building. Let's look at Hebrews 12, one through two. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us... <laughs> Thomas. I'm sorry. What's going on? I just gotta... Bryson, you okay? <laughs> Uh, I just got a nosebleed. Here, we're under the restroom, get cleaned up, okay? Yeah, thank you. All right. <sighs> okay, guys. Can I tell you something? Back in the day, I would have taken them all off your hands. It just, Georgia doesn't seem right. You know, apparently this place is an embarrassment to the city. You gotta get rid of everything by the end of the month. Listen, if I don't get rid of them, they will. I'm gonna have a lot of the fire department to practice on. Dude, I would help you out, but Marilyn would kill me. I'm... Wait a minute. What? What is this? Are you kidding me? <laughs> is this a 67? Are you kidding me? 67. <laughs> you like her? Do I like her? Yeah. George, this was my dream car. I'll tell you what. Take her. My gift to you. Come on, you're kidding. She's yours. Huh. Okay, just don't tell Marilyn, all right? You got it. Uh, come on. You ready? That was pretty good. What? Getting out of class? Dude, what are you talking about? Nosebleed? Hey, did you pick one out just to get out of class? Dude, seriously? Bryce, are you okay, man? It just slipped out of his hands. It's okay. Check out these shirts I'm gonna get the boys. Why does it say touchdown with a baseball player? Well, because most of the boys play football and baseball, and I thought that'd be fun. Yeah, how about something that says state championship baseball? Well, I already ordered them. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Bryce, you all right? Can I give you a hand? What? Just wondering if I can help you out. Well, well you do know I'm working tonight, right? I do. Yes, I do, of course. That's why I'm that's why I'm trying to help you, you know? Well, what are you doing? Putting stuff away, you know, so that you can get out of here faster. 
And uh, what are you doing tonight? Me? Mm-hmm. Tonight I have a very calm night plan. I'm gonna relax, sit down, watch a little TV. Good. Good. And just work on that car that George had to get rid of, had to get rid of. Ed Hansen. Do I need to remind you that you've had major surgery, two major surgeries in the past month? Hmm? You know what? And you know what? Just a couple of repairs for friends. Perfectly okay with that. But this? Come on, Ed. Marilyn. What? Honey, it's a 67 mm -hmm. Mustang. No, a 67, that's my dream car. You've heard me mention it a million times. And you, now, hold on, you, being an oncology nurse should consider this as my own cancer project. What in the world are you talking about? Rust. Mm. No, rust is the cancer of the automotive world. It's <laughs> terrible. It eats away at the engine, at, at, at the organs of... I love you. Oh, and don't forget to take your medicine. Yes, mother. <laughs> did you call mom? I did. I did. I texted her. Hello, Mr. Newman. The nurse said you blacked out at practice. Yeah. Headaches. Are you getting plenty of fluids? You know what this heat. Uh, no, Doc. No, it's it's not the heat. I mean, this this kid's been playing baseball since he was eight, and if it's not baseball, then it's been football. It's not the heat. <sighs> hmm. His vials are good. Strong heartbeat. I'm not hearing anything to worry about. You know, when the body gets dehydrated, sometimes the brain shrinks from loss of fluids, you know? Why don't we try some Tylenol, you know, get plenty of fluids, and if um, it continues, make an appointment with this pediatrician. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. You're a healthy kid. You'll be fine. Thanks. Okay, let's go. Let's go get you some food. Okay, I'm starving. There you go, bud. Excuse me. Sure. Um. Killing me. Yeah, so was it, did you just get dizzy or? What just hurts. Just hurts. You're back. Yeah, yeah, we're back. Look, Doc, uh, I know my son, okay? And, and there's definitely something wrong with him. Mr. Newman, migraines in young people is very common. At his age, the sports, puberty, Puberty. Did he take anything? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I gave him a Tylenol. I can order some tests, take some blood, but I really think that this is just... Where does it hurt? In, in the back. Give me a minute. I'll be right back. I'm going to punch her. No, I'm going to punch her. Puberty. I got a kid who was here earlier. OK. Dad's over concerned. He's complaining of headaches, blacked out of baseball practice. Yeah, sounds like he is actually to me. Let me take a look. That's what I said. All right, let's, uh, 
Let's give him some fluids. Can we start a DHE drip? And, uh, and if it persists, then uh, let's order a CT scan. I'll go talk to him. Man, I, I don't know about this, Bryce. Dad, I'm feeling better. But the doctor said he wanted you to get some rest. I did. Now, sitting on the couch playing Xbox for two hours is not getting rest. I can't miss practice. If I miss any more than that, I won't be allowed to play. We got the state champs in, what, like two weeks? Fine, fine, fine. Just uh, be, be careful. I will, don't worry. All right. <clears throat> we say, Jack. Hey, what's going on, bro? What's up, Bryson? Oh, let me get my bag. Be careful. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. So what time does he get home then? Okay. Um, yeah, um, just make sure he stays there. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you. Not a penny. Um, brakes, rotors, he even tuned her up. Yeah. Yeah, so as soon as I get out of here, tell him I'll come pick him up. Uh, he said he's just a veteran that wants to help people out. Yeah, OK. Uh, all right, bye now. Hey, excuse me. How's Bryson? <laughs> oh, sorry, I heard he passed out at practice. He pretty much spent the whole night in the ER. Oh my gosh, is he okay? Migraines, yeah, that's basically what they said, the heat exhaustion. What'd they give him for that? Oh, they gave him you know, some fluids, Tylenol. Hmm. They run a CT? <laughs> no, no. Uh, they, they said that wasn't necessary. He, he started to feel better. OK, Richard, I'm not trying to get all involved here. But a good friend of mine is the head of neurosurgery. <laughs> neurosurgery? What? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'm just saying. I know, I know. No, he's, he's feeling better. OK. Thank you, Sue. Hey. Hey. Hey, bud. Are you all right, man? What what happened? They said he passed out at school. And what are the doctors saying? They don't know. <laughs> Hey, Sue. Yeah, it, it's Rick. Look, I need your help. OK, let me see. Can't just find that part. I just thought of a few other things. Because when I told you to come by, I forgot that. Uh, and I, um, well, those <laughs> don't come cheap. I understand. Yeah. Uh, and then I had to, uh, okay, there you go. There you go. There you go, buddy. My 
dollar? Why a dollar? Because I do what I can for my veteran brothers. And anyway, you know, the, the money can't hug you back, right? See, look, check that out. That's a work of art. <laughs> sir, thank you, sir. God bless you and Semper Fi. Okay, take care. And remember, if you hear the knocking, just call me. Yes, sir. I did the best I could with my limited resources. How you doing? Hey. So you're the guy that does the repairs for a dollar? <laughs> yeah, for veterans. Do you serve? No, no. Sorry, sir. Uh, my name is Miles Himmel. I'm a local news reporter. OK, wait. Larry, your dad? Yes, sir. Sorry to hear about him. Thank you. Good man, good reporter. Hard to hear what happened to him. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. So you volunteer to work on veterans' cars? Yeah, when I can. Hey, uh, do you think that maybe I could ask you a couple questions? Miles, uh, I, I, I don't really think uh, that uh, I'm much of a story, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's nowhere near as important as what these guys have done for our country. Well, maybe I could ask them a few questions? Well, you know, they're shy. Um, sir, thank you. Sorry to waste your time. Oh, no worries. Thank you. Take it easy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Newman. Yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Getty. I'm hey. the chief of neurosurgery. I'm the one who's going to be operating on Bryson. I'm sorry. Wait. What did you just say? The scans showed that he has a large tumor in his head. Is it cancer? Well, well we, we hope not. But I do think you need to prepare yourself. Prepare myself? For the possibility of this is serious. Oh, it is. It's serious. You, you, you think so? I'm... Yes, sir. Mr. Newman. No, I, I, no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Doc. I just, uh... Did, uh, did Sue Wilson call you? Yes, she's a, she's a dear friend. Okay. Um... Does, does Bryce know? Can I see him? Yeah, of course. He's being prepped for surgery right now. Um... And when I told him, he, he just said, that's fine. Just sew me up tightly. I've got a plane to catch in two weeks for the state championship. He said, I can't let my team down. Yeah. That's him. Yeah. He's, a, he, he's a tough little bugger, you know. Catcher. I'll take you to him. OK. Show me something positive, anything. Come on. Hey there, got anything for me yet? Hey, Kurt, um, yes, yeah. Um, working on this, I think it's, I think it's a good one, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know as soon as it's done, maybe a little more time and send it your way. All right. Mr. Newman, I can assure you, he is in the best of hands. Thank you, Doc. Yeah. I'll give you a minute. Hey, guys. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. Do you think there's a chance that we could get a, just a minute alone with our yeah. son? Thanks. There he is. My main man, huh? Hey, Doc. I love you. I love you, Dad. <laughs> so, uh, looks like they're gonna have to uh, operate. I heard. 
Don't worry, Dad. It's just a brain tumor. Look, I, I just want them to get it out. So I can be on that plane to Sacramento. Go to play in that game, Dad. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Excuse me. Are you ready? I love you, boy. Bye, guys. Look at you. You are a filthy, disgusting mess. I know what you think. You think I'm gonna change every spark plug, every gasket, every hose, but I'm not. I'm gonna rip you out of there and I am gonna replace you. <laughs> and then you will be gorgeous. Bryson's parents. Can I speak with you, please? So, I want to let you know, uh, we got it, but it did turn out to be a cancerous tumor, medulloblastoma, and he did very well, so I think he's gonna be. All right, we'll see. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you. I'll be speaking to you guys tomorrow. They got it. <laughs> Honey. I couldn't sleep. I had... The car is an eyesore. Is it really your dream car? Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's more like a nightmare car right now because I found a lot of rust under there. But but, it is it is going to be cherry, I promise. Is this all of them? Sure. <laughs> I know you, Ed Hansen. You got all of these and probably a dozen more being delivered in the middle of the night. <clears throat> Honey, you would do anything for anybody. You know, I love that about you. But you need to take care of yourself too, okay? Please. How um, can I tell these? Soldiers have given so much, how can I tell them no? You know, and I know it doesn't make sense, but you have to understand that it doesn't matter if you fought in Nam or you fought in, in Bosnia or Iraq, Afghanistan. If you weren't married or had kids, the thing you talked about all the time was your car. The car you're gonna buy, the car you're gonna fix up, the car you're gonna drive around and see the world. I know it doesn't make any sense. Sometimes the car was the thing that kept you going, kept you alive, made sure you got home safe. Okay. 
Mr. Newman? Hi. Hey. Dr. Getty said the surgery went well, right? Oh, good. How's he sleeping? Uh, it was a little rough. It's to be expected. Well, his color looks good. Mr. Newman, Bryson's latest blood test indicated that he's got a staph infection. It's probably from the surgery. We're going to have to clear that up before we get into radiation, so it's going to delay it just a little bit. Radiation, you said you got it. There is a small area of enhancement, but it, it looks like leftover scar tissue to me. Really, I don't think it's anything to be worried about. All his, his vitals look great. He's doing well. He should be waking up soon. Okay. Thanks, Doc. Well, if you need anything at all, just give me a buzz. Thank you. Here. Thank you. I'm impressed that you went ahead and did the teachings. Yeah, are you take cool? You know, cool would not be the word I would use. Well, no one else has one like it. <laughs> yeah, that's because no one wants one like it. <laughs> I, uh, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Seriously, though, man, um, that I, I love you and I'm, I really appreciate your friendship. Well, I love you too, man. How's Bryson doing? Ah, oh, man, I don't know. It's surreal, you know? When, when I was a kid, you get a staph infection, it's like a little bump, right? And it goes away. Now, that thing almost killed him. But he's... he's better now. Well, I want you to know I've been praying for you. For me? <laughs> yes, you. And Bryson, of course. Well, I appreciate it, Mike. I do, man. Um, I'm, I'm just glad that it's all behind us now. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go listen to this voicemail, OK? OK, dude. All right. all right, take care. Hello, Mr. Newman. This is Dr. Getty. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Um, it's important that I see you in my office tomorrow afternoon to discuss Bryce's latest scans. Hey, if we can get everyone to come over here, we got some awards to give out. All right, so we have several awards tonight, but I want to start with a really special award. Uh, this is called the Coach's Award. Uh, and this award is given every year to a player that shows tremendous courage, really puts the team before himself. Um, and I couldn't be happier that this young man was able to join us tonight. Um, this year's Coach's Award goes to Bryson Newman. Got it, buddy. Thank you, Coach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Well deserved. Love you, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> There was an area in Bryson's brain that had what I believed to be scar tissue. Nothing about it indicated that it was cancerous. Um, however, it is a tumor and it's growing. No. I'm sorry, I'm confused because I remember you coming downstairs and saying that you got it. Do you remember that? Yes. That that was you, right? And, and, and one of the kids 
in, in the waiting room, got it on video and right said that it, it's gone a virus on TikTok. I, I know. I did get the area that I wanted out, but this is a very aggressive form of cancer. No, no, doc. No, no buts, no. Mr. Newman, no! No, no. I'm sorry. Uh, so, what now? Radiation? Or... No, I have to go back in and get it. What? Come on, Doc. Look, I'm not putting my kid through that again. No, I, no, look, I, I want a second, a third, and a fourth opinion. I understand. But whatever you decide, it has to happen rather quickly. I mean, would his body even be able to take that? Bryson is a very strong kid. You people are unbelievable. What's going on? No, it's Bryson Newman. His tumor is back. And his prognosis is not very good. God bless them. Yeah. Sad. Sleep. Got a headache. Are you okay? It's, it's gone now. Dan, what's what's wrong? They didn't get it all. next they want to go back in <sighs> I'm so sorry son I just I hate this is happening to you and I I wish I could trade places you know I mean I and I pray I pray every every day that every day. dad so they, they have to do it again. I'm okay with that. I am. I love you, buddy. I do, Dad. You're the strongest person I know. It's gonna be okay. We'll get through it together, okay? You're gonna be just fine, dude. I know. What am I missing at school? Nothing. Coach has us conditioning for the season, you know? Uh, it's not too late. The formal dance is coming up. And you're my date. You're my date. 
<laughs> I am so sorry to interrupt, Mr. Newman, but there are a couple of people here who would like to have a word with Bryson, if that's okay. Who are they? And they're from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Bryce? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll send them in. Lady? Hi, Bryson. It's so nice to meet you. My name is Heather, and this is Linda, and we're from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And the hospital has been sharing with us about some of the struggles you've been going through, so we're here to see how we can help. Um, maybe grant a wish? A, a wish? Yeah. I can wish for whatever I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, get an island. You can get your own island. I don't know, man. Do a movie. All right, make them cast you in some, like, chick flick, and you get to kiss a celebrity like Selena Gomez. Okay, okay. Calm down. Oh, do you know what? Okay. Oh, <laughs> dude, um, you should wish for an autographed Tom Brady football. Or what about a ski trip, dude, for 20 of your closest friends? Do I have to decide now? No. After the surgery, and we'll be here. I hate to break up this party, folks, but I'm going to have to ask you all to leave. I have to get Bryson ready. Bye, guys. Hey, God. It's me, Rick. Bryson's not in the room, but you know who is. The God that we believe in. I mean, these are the moments, right? Where we have to ask ourselves, well, what do we actually believe? Where the rubber meets the road for our faith. And we, we can't heal him, but we know the one who can. Philippians 4.13 says, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. In other words, what we cannot do, he can do. And what does God do? Well, this book is filled with stories of miracles and signs and wonders and miraculous healings. And Hebrews 13, 8 says, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. That means this is either a book of stories or the God who did it then. He wants to do it again. You guys, we need a miracle. Let's pray. God, I don't know if you can hear me. And I don't know why you did this to our family, but I'm asking you to please, please be with my son. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we come to you right now. And we ask you to move and heal Bryson from the top of his head to the bottom of his feet. We ask for a miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Please. Please be with us. There he is. There's my beautiful boy. feeling you know we miss you at school we okay I miss you at school <laughs> Alex I still didn't get it okay I don't know about the dance. 
chance this year. Okay, I want you to listen to me when I say this. We are going to that dance. And if you think cancer is going to have anything to say about that, you better think again. <laughs> I know I promised you the first dance, but I think cancer is saying no. Well, then I guess we're just going to have to get a higher power involved. <laughs> Let me guess. My mother. No. No, I'm calling God. Yeah, he trumps even your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Such a dork. <laughs> the kind of kid he's always been, you know, sports, cars. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Mr. Newman, how's Bryson feeling? Yeah. Well, we're going to have to start radiation, and then after that, several months of chemotherapy. Is this tumor ever going to go away? You know, you say you got it, you don't got it, it's shrinking, it's growing, his numbers are good, his numbers are bad. I, I, I just don't know what to tell him. You know, th this is a sports kid. He, he needs to be outdoors. All we do is sit around here, and, and it's killing him. I understand. It's, it's frustrating. But the hospital where he's going to have the radiation, that's a different hospital than this. So he'll be leaving this hospital at least once every single day. So he can leave? For treatment. Look, it would mean the world to him. If I could just take him to a game, uh, just, just one ball game, please. I'll set it up. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, let's work on that form a little bit over there. Hey, good job right there. Hey guys, let's get serious. Stop screwing around. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Oh, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. 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 Are we all in? Guys, all in! Bring it in here for a break for Bryce. Let's go, guys. You shaved your head? No, man. We all did. Sure. Rolling? Rolling. Coach Doyle, tell us a little bit about what was happening here tonight. Uh, Bryce Newman, incredible athlete. Uh, was a linebacker, wide receiver for us. Uh, so devastating, he has brain cancer. Yeah, it's really an unfortunate situation. As you may recall, Coach, my father passed from brain cancer, so I really understand the fight. Yeah, I'm very sorry to hear that. Best of luck tonight. Thank you. Hey, Eric, see you next week, right? All right. You guys can come safely. Hey, you Richard Newman? I am. Miles Himmel, a local news reporter. Just wondering if I could get Bryson on camera for a quick interview. 
Yeah, ask him. Yeah. Yeah? Awesome. Right here okay? Yeah. Oh, great, perfect. Let's do it. Lord, we come to together, and we ask that you watch over Bryson. We ask that you heal his body, Lord. Everyone knows that St. Joseph was a carpenter and the father of Jesus. What you may not know is that he was descended from royalty. His great-great-grandfather was King David. That same royalty belongs to you because each one of you boys is a child of a king. God created you and you are his child. Well, now this is a real treat. Glad I could come. Hi. Oh, help yourself. I'm the one who brought him down here in the middle, right? <laughs> Appreciate it. Hey, who is that? That's Richard Newman. Everybody in the hospital knows who he is. Unfortunately, he has a, a son here that's not doing too well. He's only 15. It's really sad. What's the kid got? Brain cancer. Oh, God. God bless him. Mm-hmm. I got to go. I got to deliver. <laughs> yeah, I bet you do. I can't believe I told you that. <laughs> Did I say that out loud? Yes, you did. I love you. I'll see you I later. love you, too. Take Thanks care, for buddy. lunch. Hey, Bryson. Will you come in? Yeah, sure. Where's your dad? Uh, he's getting lunch, I think. What are you drawing? I, uh, like to draw cars. Very cool. Hey, Bryson, saw you on the news at the game. Really cool. Yeah, it must have been nice to see a game. Have you had a chance to think about your wish? Yeah. Can I give away my wish? To who? My dad. That's a really thoughtful idea, and I'm very sure that he would rather you have something. Maybe it's something you guys can do together. How about a Ford Raptor? A what? It's a, a truck. I don't know. You, you told me to think big. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, lady. I, geez. Um, it, I, if I'd have known you were here, I'd have brought you some food. Yeah, I can go back. Yeah, I don't mind. Very good. Thank you. Okay. So Are you sure? Yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, Bryson has given us his wish. Oh, and uh, what, pray tell, would that be? <laughs> oh. uh, Ford Raptor. Ah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, okay, honestly, I, I can't promise you that we can get you a brand new car, but, I mean, stay on that wave. We'll put the word out, you know, see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. OK? <laughs> yeah, that's good. Thank you. That's yeah. That's very generous. Thank you very much. Um, we'll talk to you soon, Bryson. It's great seeing Thanks, you. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. A Ford Raptor? Are you out of your mind? What? You said it was a good truck. Well, I know, but, you know, Bryson, when I was your age, man, I had a $300 Chevelle. Yeah, and you walked to school in the snow, uphill both ways, and uh, it was a, a tundra. <laughs> OK, wise guy, <laughs> wise guy. Oh, hey, sorry, guys. Hey, Bryson, 
Can I borrow that sketch pad? Uh, yeah, I, I guess. I promise you I'll bring it back. Thanks. See you guys later. It's great seeing you. Bye. Let me tell you something. It was tough when I was growing up. You know, we had, we had like one thimble of rice every two weeks. That's okay, what, That's how we uh -huh. ate. Uh -huh. You know how your grandfather was. Look what he's been drawing. That is a cool car. What kind of car do you think it is? Maybe a Corvette? I have no idea. That, ladies, is a Mustang. An old Mustang. We've been married a long time, right? Mm -hmm. And I know when you go, oh, it doesn't mean, oh, like another person might say, oh. It means, oh, there's something I'm thinking that's going to change your life. So what is your home oh, today? <laughs> well, you said this was your cancer project because of the rust. Was that right? Yeah, there's a lot of rust, as you can yeah, see. Yeah, that's for sure. Well, do you remember that kid I was telling you about with brain cancer? Oh! Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bryson. Bryson, yeah. yeah. Well, um, the Make-A-Wish Foundation was in his room today. They were? And, yeah. What did he wish for? <laughs> he wished for a car. Now, he gave them a drawing of, I guess, what was his dream car, and, uh, whoa. Looked a lot like this. I'm just saying. <laughs> Dear Jesus, I love you. I trust you. I want you to know that no matter what happens, I will always love you. I pray that my faith and salvation be strong in your eyes. If I should die, that I be there in heaven with you. In your name I pray. Amen. Mr. Newman? Hi, my name is Nir Tadeja. I'm the CEO here at General Valley Hospital. Oh, hi. Hi. I have someone here to see you. Hey, oh, I'm, I'm Ed. I'm Nurse Marilyn's husband. She may have told you I was coming by to yeah. see Bryson. Yeah. Do you mind? Do, may I come in? Yeah, yeah. please. Please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. I don't want to wake him up. Hey, Bryce. Buddy. Hey. Hey, I, uh, I got someone here who wants to meet you. Hey, Bryson, I'm, I'm Ed Hansen. You know your your nurse, Marilyn, the pretty one? I'm her husband. Hey, you're not hitting on her, are you? A little bit. <laughs> I have this car I want to give you. It's a 67 Mustang, and, and I want to fix it up. I want to make it perfect for you. A, a car? For me? Where, where is it? It's at our house. Speak of the devil. <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, she, she is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch it. Keep your hands off. So, um, I got this car to junkyard, and it didn't make the boss happy. But uh, I was tinkering with it, and she told me the other day about you and your situation. And so we were kind of thinking that it, it might be a good project for us. Like, I'll, I'll fix it, but I want your input. It's gonna take a while, yeah. but 
You kind of figured that'd give us something to look forward to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you gotta do something for me. You gotta get better. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'll let you sleep. Uh, thank you so much. All right. Come on. Take care of yourself. Thank you. All right. Dad. Oh, is that incredible or <laughs> what? How cool is that? You know, when I was your age, I had a three hundred dollar Chevelle. Dad, <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Love you. I think you're going to be very impressed. I had a lot of help, though. Yeah? Yeah, you're going to love it. It's 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 cherry. It's so great. Yeah, any one. You pick any one you want. Uh, what about this one? Uh, <laughs> how, about, how about something a little more, like more, something more like that? OK, it's good. You'll go with that. Not bad at all. Grayson. Oh, hey How guys. are you? Hey. Good to see you. Then we got something. Yeah. yeah. We know the treatments have been a little much and they're taking a toll on you, so we got something to hopefully make it a little easier. You got me an iPad? Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. So. You can make drawings on that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good to see you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, take you take care. Person. Alex. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. You no know practice today? No, I took the day off. There's nothing else they can do. The tumor, um, they've tried everything. So they're sending him to this experimental trial in Florida. I've never had anyone die in my life. When we can't, God can, right? Yeah, that's, that sounds great, but, um, no offense. Why hasn't he? I don't know, but I do know this. God is still in control. He still sits on that throne. He is still in the miracle business. Alexander, how many times have you sat right here and cheered, prayed for a miracle? That's what we need to do. Dad? Yeah, buddy. Would you be mad if I gave the tablet to Kimmy? Who's Kimmy? The, the kid in the ward. Uh, well, I don't know if we have enough money to buy a new one. That's okay, Dad. It's, it's the right thing to do. She gets bored and she doesn't have one. Okay. Dad? Yeah, bud. Am I gonna die? What? He's not gonna make it.
that's what I heard the doctor say about Jason Lyons the other night. Am I not gonna make it? Am I not gonna make it, Dad? Dad, am I gonna die? No, no, no. Bryce, I don't wanna ever hear you say that again. You understand me? Bryce, we're gonna beat this together, okay? Me and you, okay? We're a team. We're a team. We're a team. Are we a team? We're a team. And we're gonna beat this thing together. I love you. I love you too, Dad. I put my trust in God. Put your trust in God. I trust God. <laughs> okay. Tell me more about this Kimmy person. <laughs> I, I taught her how to spell her name with Fox. Hey. Okay. Now that's great. Thank you. Yeah, he'll. He'll be so happy to see all his friends again before he goes to Florida, so. Let's hope so. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. What are we doing? If I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. Okay, you guys can all have a seat. So now that our guest of honor has arrived, we are gathered to support Bryson Newman, our fellow Don, in his fight. So I've asked Father Martin to come and pray with us for Bryson. Thank you. So good to have each of you guys here today. Listen, the kingdom of God is never meant to be a spectator sport. Bryson, you'd be the first to tell us. The only way you win a game by actually getting on the field and fighting. And this is our field of faith, you guys. This is our moment to believe that what we read is actually real, that his word is more real than what we feel. You and I have a chance to put God's word to the test. In fact, the book of James says that if someone's sick, like Bryson, were to lay hands on them and God will heal them. I mean, that's either real or it's not, but I say we find out right now. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, we just thank you for what it is you accomplished on the cross. We thank you, God, that when you said it is finished, you were talking about sin, death, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is done. Woo. Okay, buddy, um, transport should be here any minute to take you to the airport, but you're getting your own plane. Dad? Yeah? Are you mad at God? What? No. 
Yes. Yes, I am. Don't you think he has a plan? Jeez, Bryce, I don't know. I, uh, I like to think that he does. I, 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 I hope that he does, but I'm just not so sure. Where are these guys? Father, thank you for my dad. Thank you for his love. Thank you for allowing me to have this wonderful man in my life. God, please calm his heart. Let him know that you are with him. I pray this in your name. Um, now, we got all your bags ready. I just want to... Oh, hey, are those the uh, scans you want us to take with us? Uh, no, they're not here. Who, who's not here? Transport? No. Look, we are going to be late for the plane. No, I, I, I canceled them. What? The tumor's gone. What, what do you mean? We double, triple, quadruple checked and tested everything. Bryson's tumor is gone. Are you sure? 100%. Not only that, the area around it has healed. <laughs> Son, yesterday, you had a probable death sentence. Today, God's given you another chance at life. Congratulations. Well, uh, wait, what, what, about, what about Florida? No need to go to Florida. Plenty of beaches right here in California. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Yes! 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 <laughs> I knew it. No, it's great. Okay, thanks for calling. Lucy, can you move your head to the left a little bit? Yeah. Can you guys, you guys get a little look, bit closer? You guys are pretty good. All right, on the count of three. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Yeah, how much Wait, guys, 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 hold up, hold up. I, what is it? So, somebody's on the phone for you, Bryce, and they, they said they're pulling up the hill. What? Oh. What? Oh, what? Oh, it is. Dad, what? Oh, 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 no. no. It's just for you, buddy. For me? Oh my goodness. This is the car? This is your car. This is our car. Oh. My God. I love you. I love you love too. You. All right. What do you think, buddy? I think it's amazing. I think, get in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hey, I love you, Jake. Hey, you hear me? I love you too, Dad. Right, buddy. You have fun.
took some time, but I found the story. You see, the miracle at Manchester wasn't just about Bryson Newman being healed. It was so much more than that. It was about reminding us that miracles are real and how when we love and give and believe, we all become part of making miracles real again. It's about putting on a show for him, about giving our best and showing that we're gonna fight while he fights. And just that he could be out here shows us like, he's out here in the hot sun with cancer and we gotta keep fighting and get better and we can't quit out there. So it's gonna mean a lot and we gotta get that victory for him. This young man is the most courageous kid I know. He's definitely an inspiration for us to go through whatever struggles we're going through, whether that be on the field or off the field. That you can beat it. Mm. That you can beat it? There you go, buddy. Fight, fight, right? Yeah. You can beat it, fight. Yeah. I love that. I love you, kid. I'm so sorry having to go through this. At one point, the tumor was gone. But it returned. Everybody's worried. His friends were asked to report to the school's bleachers in red shirts to show their support. There's about 1,600 kids, and uh, I mean, they all put their hands over me, like like that, over my head, and I just prayed. Praise your name. Cast this Christ our Lord. Amen. He believes that that day he was saved. I said, I'm done. I said, I'm good. So I, I, I'm good. Three weeks later, uh, we went back to the hospital. They did another MRI, and the, 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 the enhancement, they call it, had shrunk, which they'd never seen. The doctors couldn't explain it. Uh, they just say it's a miracle, and you kind of know what it was. down I mean the oncology floor at the hospital and you see all these children uh, fighting and going through pain and they, they just want to be cancer free and so we're selling these t-shirts to help the researchers find a cure for cancer so those kids can be cancer free I might only have one match but I can make an explosion this is my fight song take back my life I'm gonna move back on my head. Who's got the armor's glue? No, I've still got a lot of fight left in me. Like a small boat on the ocean, sending big waves into motion. Like how a single word can make a heart open. I might only have one match, but I can make an explosion. And all those things I didn't say were wrecking balls inside my brain. I will scream loud tonight. Can you hear my voice this time? This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove it my right song. My power is
into motion like how a single word can make a heart open i might only have one match but i can make an explosion this is my fight song take back my life